Hello, this is Iskumar Fan here, and this in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make your Yukikaze PC game work. And I know some people had a lot of problems with this, particularly I had in the past. Um, and I ended up solving actually really recently. Uh, I had bought this uh, Yukikaze game, the original, for uh, quite a while. And I couldn't just figure out how to play the game because there was something wrong in the installing process. But I found that out and I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. Now, just uh, so you know, I do have the original copy. I purchased it from Japan. It has the two discs right here plus the manual and that kind of stuff. But for the purposes of this tutorial and this demonstration, I will be the, uh, using one that I downloaded off the internet. Since I have the original copy, I think it's fine. But the reason why I downloaded it also because my PC, I can't insert a, a CD into it because it's one of those new PCs, which I kind of disagree with, but it's the way it is. Now, first, uh, this is my secondary computer, so I'll be starting from the very scratch into the very beginning of the installation process. So let's get going. So I have here on the on my downloads folder, I'm gonna mount the, the CDs, there, there are two CDs. First, let's mount uh, disk one, which is the install. Now that is uh, installed, we can go here, put on auto run, uh, install, it's one on the on the left side. We're gonna, all of those admin settings is gonna start, and it's gonna install, can, can go forwards, the location, whatever, doesn't matter. And it's gonna stall about about halfway through, and then of course you have to you know switch CDs because back in the days they couldn't put everything inside the same CD, which is kind of funny, especially because it's this this game is for Windows XP, so yeah, it's been a long time. It's gonna stop. Yeah, there you go. And then it's asking for us to insert disk two. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go here on PC. Let's eject. Come back to the downloads, and I'm gonna mount the second one, the second disc, the play. And we're gonna click on the installation folder again. It should be still E, so let's press OK. And it should uh, do the rest of the install. Now, just because you install the game, that doesn't mean it's gonna work. That That's the problem I've had. So it's uh, there's this form for the registration of the game. It's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to, to click. Uh, just close here. Now the CD is there. They want to play. I'm gonna put the auto run again. This is where you would play the game. And I'm gonna click right here, and it's not going to work. This is the one you wanna hit. And it says uh, something something about your user data login. Something something fix that. It's not gonna work. So. Uh, in order to fix this, this is the problem I had, we have to go to our browser. Now, uh, let's close this. Uh, this is a support site of the company that's SS Alpha from Japan. I'll put the links in the description, so don't worry. Um, so there's the update version 1.2 update that we need, we need to download. It's about 4 megabytes. This is the one that they had at the time. I'm going to download. I still think it's not going to work. So it's, it's pretty small, it's only 4 megabytes. And you should install this one. All the settings. It's pretty quick. Like, yep. Yep, you download. Now I'm gonna try again to run. And it still, it doesn't work. So this was the problem that I had. Uh, if you go to the website of the company, the SS Alpha, uh, you would be directed to download this update, the 4 megabyte one, which still does not fix the game. So, with it not working, I decided to call a customer service in Japan with my limited Japanese. And I told them there was a problem with this because it wasn't making the game work. And the girl, she they fixed later on and you have to download now this file. Now, it looks... Pretty much the same, but it's different. You can see it's one, almost two megabytes. And the URL, it's almost the same as well. It's ssalpha.co.jp download yukikaze html. This one is yukikaze with an S after. So right here, there's a little S. So you should go to this one and download this uh, update, which is 
almost two megabytes. So we just go here, download. Uh, says uh, 102 SSP, special, something like that. We can go there and install. I know what I'm doing, Windows, come on. Could be real quick. Yes, proceed, and it says finished. Now, your game should be fixed, which means you can play it. I'm just gonna go on auto run. Now, you should be able to play. It's gonna get weird, the, the windows, but yes, you can play and your game should be able to run now. Probably it's not showing anything because it's just how this game works and the resolution, which is pretty low. But yes, you can play your game now. Anyways, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. All the links will be in the description with the update. So you don't have to copy all of that. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful for you and enjoy the Yuki Kaze game. And see you guys next time.